and got a coffee and this is literally my first iced coffee I'm gonna say of the year actually because yeah I don't think I've had a nice coffee apart from today the Sun is out it is such a nice day and I've put this dress on which I actually showed in my last vlog the one from nasty girl that I got it's actually the such a good dupe of the sleeper one what's well, gone really dark here we go I actually got it in white as well because I know I'm just gonna wear it so much and we we're just walking then and a girl literally pulled up in a car and was like where's your dress from it's so lovely and I just think it's so nice when girls actually take the time to sort of ask each other and compliment each other so that was really nice it just felt good to put a dress on today and actually go out but we're probably going to go to the park later as well because the restrictions have eased now where you can go outside and socialize as well so which is nice to be able to see people but today i've got some work to crack on with i'm going to actually paint my nails because they're really bad and i'm going to start sorting the patio area because the weather's actually picking up now i want to start degutting it and completely um sorting it out so i'm thinking of having a change up i've been on pinterest as always and coming up with loads of new ideas and finding different kind of furniture pieces that i want to put out there so i'll definitely be sharing that with you guys i'm thinking kind of like rattan style and then having like an accent chair as well and then we're looking at ordering like a jute style rug too i've just realized i haven't got my jewelry on either and i feel really bare but we've literally basically been bed bound for like the past two days because we had our vaccine on sunday and i actually woke up this morning feeling really really like rough again but i actually feel okay now it kind of comes in waves but yesterday was such a write-off we were really bad yesterday just like no energy like body ached everywhere headaches but we feel better that we have had the vaccine and we've booked in for our second obviously in 12 weeks so i feel like i'm coming out the other side of it now and i'm riding it out but i just feel better with the sun being out so i've got to get ready now i've got a zoom call and then like i said i'm going to be filming some content and then sort of the patio so i thought i'd just pick up the camera today and show you what i'm getting up to the next day it's actually not the next day it's like i think it was like two or three it's two days ago that i actually picked up the camera and it was when i was cleaning the patio and i think my camera died but basically the past day or yesterday i just spent hours out there cleaning mopping i must have mopped that patio like six times and that's excessive and it's just because i literally just wanted to completely disinfect it clean it obviously we haven't touched it all of um the winter so i've actually got all the furniture back out from last year and put it all back out there and we sat out last night which was really nice and had a rose or two i felt a bit fuzzy headed this morning um so i'm going to show you that because obviously what is now isn't how it's going to stay it's a lot of the furniture from last year which i do like but i have seen some other stuff online um of how i want to change it up and just basically utilize this space a bit more so i'm going to show you so you can understand what i mean so this is it out here i've just put both of the doors open and then this is the little i say little it's quite a big actually sofa set that we got last year i actually got this from ebay from a seller like a wholesaler and it come with a matching table but we found last year it wasn't great for like if you have people over like you can't host a lot of people out here not that we can have loads of people but even if it's just like another couple so i want to get a different sofa that i've seen from ikea which i think is a little bit bigger 
um, change the coffee table because you can't really fit much on it. Um, again, it's just kind of like utilizing the space of what we found last year and what didn't work and what we want this year. So we just want a bigger coffee table out here. Obviously, there's no rug at the minute. The one last year just got completely like drenched in the rain. So we threw it out. We're going to get a new one and have like a bigger one to completely fill the space and just make it really cozy and like tie it in. Again, from Ikea, but obviously I have to order a lot of these pieces and some are out of stock at the minute. So I'm waiting for the store to open in like two weeks so I can get everything. Um, so we're going to change the coffee table and then I want an accent chair either here or maybe switch it around and do like a big kind of like egg chair here and move this plant because this is a gorgeous big olive tree. I was literally digging all in the mud, getting all the weeds out of it yesterday. I went full like Mrs. Hinch. I've just put Bailey's bed out here for now whilst we're out here so he can chill with us. That's an old little lantern. Um, I found some lovely ones on Zara Home that I think I'm going to get like a set of three. Love this clock. It's from Livia's. I'm not sure if it's online. If it is, I will link it. We got it last year. And then a lot of you ask about these mirrors, but they actually came with a place and they're gorgeous. They really make a statement out here and just kind of like make the space feel bigger. And then this chimney I actually got from Audi last year, super cheap. This basket is temporary. I need to get a bigger one, like a big kind of like rattan one that I've seen on Ikea, which will fill it up more. That I can put all the extra logs in, but I think we're going to have a cozy night out here tonight, which will be nice. So yeah, I've just got it out for now so we can enjoy like the Easter long bank holiday weekend, but this is just temporary. So I'm very excited to share with you guys when it's all um, going to be changing. I'm excited to actually get the furniture and start designing out here. I feel like my hair looks crazy at the minute. I've just been filming some content this morning, hence why I've got like my makeup on and my hair done. I did my hair with the GHD Rise Brush. Honestly, it's so good. I've done a reel over on my Instagram of how I do it kind of like step by step so you can see it. Just was like quick and easy to watch rather than watching a long video. But if you guys are interested in me doing like a full longer tutorial on here, then let me know in the comments. Camera battery died then. I've had to just quickly change it. So yeah, let me know in the comments, as I was saying, if you do want to see like a future short like a future short full tutorial can't get my words out today i feel like it's because i haven't spoken to anyone today chris has actually got up and gone to golf this morning because it's allowed here now in the uk restrictions starting to ease so i've generally just not spoke to anyone all day hence why i can't speak to you guys on the camera but i'm gonna get my words out because i've just got this new little dress on as well this linen one which is from h&m i've had some new bits arrive this morning um that was the reel that i was just filming kind of like a keep or return so i'm going to do it with you guys here on obviously the channel and we'll try some pits on um that i got from the order and you can let me know in the comments if i should keep it or return it but i really like this one it's like a linen really lightweight dress very me and i feel like this will be nice on holiday just to kind of like throw on stuff over stuff as well dress it's just a linen material excuse the mess behind me i've obviously been having a try on and this is kind of like beigey color obviously it's neutral as you guys know i love my neutrals the little tortoiseshell buttons but yeah i really like this it's kind of like voluminous sleeves here and then it ties in at the waist so it's just quite lightweight it's flowy it's easy i just feel like it's one of those dresses that are obviously never going to go out of date and like i said i think this will be good on holiday like throw it on over a bikini put it with my little chloe sandals so i think i'm definitely going to keep this one and i'm pretty sure it's extra small let me just grab the label here at the back i got this in an extra small and as you can see it fits great it's actually a little bit longer than i thought but like you said you can just tie it and kind of like tuck it over and stuff so you can just play around with how you want to wear it but definitely going to keep this one this dress i absolutely love to me it really screams at chloe so i have put it on with my chloe sandals as well this is definitely how i'd wear it i really love it it's this crochet style love the little trimmings on the edge how it goes like scalloped it's just loose it's easy it's got a little slip underneath so it's obviously not see-through and again i got this in an extra small so it fits great and it's just really easy to whack on and you've got an out fit in itself like i said definitely will just throw it on with like some sandals like my chloe sandals and then even just like a little kind of tote basket bag or something going into the warmer days it's actually kind of warm today but a little bit cooler like it's got a breeze so probably not um right to work just yet 
but when it does start to get a little bit warmer here in the UK. So definitely think I'm going to keep this one. It's very me and I know I'll just get my wear out of it. I picked up this little racer tank top just because I feel like it's just a basic you need in your wardrobe and it's great just to kind of pair with some tailored trousers. These are again our H&M. They always come kind of in and out of stock so hopefully they're back in stock by the time this video goes up because they come in different colours as well and I wear them so much. I love the fit of them. So yeah this little tank top I thought was great with this. It's really flattering the fact it's racer style and again I got this in extra small. I think it was like $3.99. It was super cheap. Then I also lastly got this blazer and if I come up close you can see the material of it. It's more like a linen material but it's a little bit kind of thicker than linen. Um, it has like, I can't explain it, the texture of it. Um, if you come in closer you can kind of see and then the little tortoise shell button here so it's single breasted and I just think this is kind of the blazer that I know I'll whack on over so many of outfits. It's really lightweight, great for spring and summer when you don't want a heavy jacket and a few of my blazers at the minute are a bit thicker. Um, my Zara cream one I literally wear it to death so I feel like I needed a white one so this kind of serves the purpose and I always go a little bit bigger with my jackets as you guys know so this is a size small it comes a little bit longer like over the bum here and then I will obviously kind of roll the sleeves back a little bit just to have that relaxed look but yeah I really like this I feel like I'll definitely get my wear out of it it feels nice like the material does and I feel like it does look it literally looks like it's a little bit more high-end. It doesn't look like a cheap blazer to me. I think this was around like £49. So I will link it down below because it's brand new on the website. This dress actually wasn't in this order, but it's very recent and new in. And I haven't actually shown it you guys or had anywhere to wear it. But I just thought it was really cute and spring and summery. Perfect for this kind of like little Easter weekend. And I love the fact it's long sleeved. So it obviously serves the purpose of being a little bit warmer. Um, and it's obviously just the balloon style. I love dresses like this. I had one last year from H&M and I wore it so much. It's just really easy, lightweight to throw on. And again, I just put this with a little pair of sandals. So I thought this was really cute and pretty. For the spring, a little bit of floral, a little bit of pastels coming through here with the ditzy kind of print too. Then this little jumpsuit isn't H&M, it's actually from Pretty Lavish, which they have kindly sent to me and I love it. It's really, really nice cocky green colour, very like effortless, lightweight again. I feel like I keep saying that with these pieces. It's got the little pockets, I've just rolled the sleeves back, I need to do them properly. And then it ties in here again so you can just obviously adjust it. This is the size 6, so definitely recommend if you are looking at getting it, maybe go down a size because it does come a little bit big. But I thought this was cute just to put on with like some Converse, kind of like an everyday outfit yeah I really like it and also got another dress from them which I'll show you as well this is it it's this gorgeous midi dress very me it has this little slit here which I love you can put a little belt and cinch it in at the waist if you want I might do it with my little Dior one and then a balloon size fit sleeves which I love because they come elasticated here and they're not long and you guys know I always moan about sleeves being too long on me whereas I feel like these are a little bit cropped so it actually just sits perfect this dress does like the whole fit of it the style it's just again very easy to wear I'd wear this with my Chloe sandals or some little kind of like trainers I've just faked tan by the way hence why it hasn't yet developed and I'm looking a little bit pasty I use the tan looks um, so yeah I love this dress it's really easy to wear right now especially when it's not too warm it's not summer this like spring transitional period going into the warmer next few weeks so definitely love this and again I got it in a size 6 um, it's very kind of like big loose lightweight so definitely recommend maybe downsizing or true to size and I think I'm going to put a little belt with it as well my hair is officially everywhere I cannot stand my roots guys I've booked in with the hairdressers I'm excited when the salon's open I'm getting straight there look at my broken lamp behind me this is the one from Dunelm but they are replacing it for me it came broken so I'm hoping that will come soon but I finally got myself some airpods I'm so happy about this because I always steal Chris's I got Chris some I think it was for his birthday or Christmas and he obviously uses them all the time and I just love these AirPod Pros because it cancels the noise out and they're the only earphones that stick in my ear. I have like tiny Nemo ears and headphones never stick in them so I found these and now 
I'm very happy I got them. I actually got them off Ferry. They had a little Easter weekend deal on. I think I got like 20 or 30 pound off them, which was good. So very happy with this. I'm going to put these in now, take Bailey on a long walk around the park and just zone out for the weekend. I feel like I just need to end my working day, take him on a nice walk. It's still a little bit sunny. Put my AirPods in and listen to Harry Potter Audible. <laughs> that is literally what makes me happy. Tonight we're doing cocktail night. We actually haven't done cocktails this whole lockdown. I don't know why it's going so dark. Hold on, let me turn the light on. It's really ever made together, isn't it? So we're gonna go for mojitos. I'm really funny about cocktails. I don't really like them, do I? Like it has to be either be like a mojito or a porn star. And of all the cocktails in the world. What? I'm normally quite easy going with cocktails, but when it comes to mojito, it's got to be right. Mm. So we've put pressure on ourselves. Yeah, so step one, muddle the lime juice, sugar, mint leaves in a small jug, crushing the mint as you go. You can use the end of the rolling pin, pour it into a tall glass. So okay. this is the tall glass, right? Or is, no, this is the tall glass. Yeah, that's Because then the you mix glass. it after. Yeah, and that's the little shot, okay. 25 mil. Okay, so I'll measure out the rum. How much rum do we need? Where's What's my phone? Okay, 60 mil. God, that's a lot, no? How Six, much do we have there? 60 mil. Wait, well, that's 25 mil. So that's like... Yeah. Wait, 50. So it's like just over two shots. Yeah, that's actually not too bad, is it? That's two shot. That's a shot each. Two and a half. Okay, let's just... And put this into here. Yeah. Got the eyes. Ice, ice, baby. Doom, 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 da da doom, doom. Ah. Uh. So it's just soda water to taste, so let's go like that. Go. I can't do that. Oh no. How do they? Wait. Half a glass. I don't know, that's, that seems quite strong if there's two shots of rum in there. Give it a sip, shall we? Try it. <laughs> On the guinea pig. Yeah. You give it a go. Mmm. It's quite good. Uh, not far off. Yeah, you just get the levels right. And then basically you just do like a huge shot. Yeah. I think it's because of the eye. I feel like we could do that soon when someone comes out. This is on burger night. He's cooking us some homemade burgers. It's, uh, it's not just homemade burgers. It's what is it? Smashed patty mm. cliched burgers. Oh, I know. Taking very, it to next level. Very, very, very. Oh. Yeah, I said to him, I want it like really smushed together, cheesy goodness. And we're doing our own it's fries as well. It's actually a thing. Like uh, Patty and Bon made it. Uh, not Patty and Bon. Shake Shack made it famous. Smash patties. Shake Shack's honestly one of my favourite. Apart from In N Out, nothing can be In N Out. I just wanna oh, call, geez. see if we're okay, babe. All I wanna ask you is, I don't wanna push you farther away. No, I don't wanna play no games. I just wanna call, see if we're okay, babe. All I wanna ask you is. Charlotte Tilbury face mask. It's the Goddess Skin Clay Mask. I just had the dry sheet mask on, but <laughs> I feel like it was scaring Bailey too much. So I thought I'd take it off. It has worked already. It's like brightened up my skin a bit, but I just want to sit with this on. And it's the only like mask like this that I know that doesn't like dry your skin out and make it go like crack, crackled, if that makes sense. Like all dry. And this one just sits on your skin like baby smooth. 
So I'm going to sit with this on and read my book and do my interior course for a little bit. So I'll show you a bit of that actually, what I'm doing with the course and some of the projects that I'm currently working on. And I think I'm going to dye my eyebrows later as well. I feel like I've just broken out a little bit here, so I'm hoping this might help dry the spots out. Done! <laughs> so I'm going to sit now and do my course, read my book, and I'm actually really proud of myself this morning because I just went on a run and I haven't run in ages and I really wasn't feeling it and I'm so glad I did now because it's the first one I've done without stopping and normally I'm really bad because of my asthma. Why am I bending down like this? But yeah, normally I'm really bad because of my asthma and I managed to do the whole run without stopping. So I feel good. I'm going to reward myself with my chocolate Easter egg, have a little bit of self-care and read my book. So I thought I would show you what I've actually got here in my basket on Ikea. Well, some of these things actually are in my basket, but the stuff that I want um, isn't available online. So I am hoping and praying that it will be in the stores when they open so these are just some little things here like the baskets um the rug for outside that we want that we had last year as well but the sofa let me find it on here it's probably in my search here we go this is the one that i'm thinking of getting for outside to replace the one we have it's a little bit bigger and also this little bit here it will show you the video you can adjust it and move it around which i think is really good so you could even use this little thing as like a little stool on the side um as a coffee table so this is the sofa that i'm thinking of getting and i like this color more it's more of like a rattan style um, so as you can see here in the video, you can move it around. So this is potentially the one I want. And also, where is this chair? Um, it should be in my... Let's just search it. It should come up. Because it is such a steal. And of course, it's sold out. Um, but it's only £99. And look at this chair. I want it for outside with the big comfy cushion. But here, look, currently available. Not currently available online. So I'm hoping this is going to be in the store. Because I remember when we went to Ikea last... And I saw this in store and I was like, Chris, should we get it? But obviously this was like during winter and we had nowhere to put it. And he's like, no. And now I'm kicking myself because I wish I just got it, put it in our storage. I've ended up putting quite a few stuff in my basket, although it's not shown on here. Um, hasn't updated, but they just have some really good stuff like here do. This is the stool that I actually got from Amazon. Um, you would have seen in my last vlog that I got completely catfished with. But there's also a coffee table on here that I like, if I quickly search it. Or there's one on Olivia's outdoor um, table. I just think Ikea is so affordable and good for sort of outdoor furniture. Um, yeah, I don't feel like it's loading for me right now. But this is basically where I've been spending a lot of my time putting stuff in my basket and seeing what I want for outside. And then our chair should be on route as well for upstairs in the bedroom. It's a big bouquet bouquet one this is kind of like the coffee table i was thinking which is just a little bit longer um so it means we can fit more on it because the one at the minute is just a tiny little square that come with our sofa set and we just can't fit much on it at all whereas here you can have like drinks food if you have the barbecue so i thought this is a lot better and it's 80 pounds but again currently not available online this is the current situation i'm having so i'm just waiting for the stores to open and then i can go and get all the furniture and start designing the space outside so, as you guys might know, over on Instagram, I seem to have this curse where I break so many of my wine glasses. And I had these lovely Prosecco ones from, it was from Next, these are them. This one, it needs a clean, it's because I was using it. And Chris accidentally smashed a few, so he's reordered them. They were sold out on Next, but he's ordered these ones from M&S. So it was a set of four for 25, which are pretty much like the same shape because i'm trying to have them so they're not mixed match so i feel like this is just an excuse to open these and open a bottle of fizz oh! 